I'm Pete and uh, I play bass in Yellow Card and I do a little bit of background vocals every now and then. I've actually only been vegetarian for um, going on about four or five months now. Um, I, uh, I made the, the decision, um, I used to eat tons of steak. I'd go out for steak like three nights out of the week. Um, and uh, I decided to, uh, initially I decided I just wanted to stay away from red meat uh, for health reasons. And um, I've, always, I've always had the, um, I've always had it on my mind, the treatment of animals, and I decided to stay away from, from chicken and everything else. Uh, one of my friends had actually got, helped get me into it. Um, just showed me a lot of pictures, and and I've, you know, I'm a I'm an animal lover. I've got I've got a dog, and you know, it's I, I'm very very just passionate with with animals. I love, you know, I, I just love animals. And, and seeing seeing a lot of pictures that I saw, I was just like, okay, you know, I'm I'm gonna stay away from it. It was just slaughterhouse pictures, um, I, and I've heard sound bites of just cattle getting mutilated. And it's, I, I think it's the most disturbing thing I've ever seen and heard. You know, actually, I think every meat eater should actually go out and kill something and slaughter it and and take the meat out themselves, what they're actually going to eat. And I think I think it'd be a lot different. I've got a uh, I've got a huge 120 pound German Shepherd, and uh, he looks scary, but he's the biggest baby in the world, and uh, I love him. I, all of my friends, when they get their pets, they they go to the pound and they get pets. And I actually had a friend one summer that, that worked worked at the pound and watched the genocide of animals, and, you know, and shoveled just bodies of animals. And it's, uh, I, I think it's I think it's a lot. All, all my friends that do have pets that have gotten to the pound, it's so much more rewarding to you know to to reach out and you know and help a domesticated you know animal like that. Uh, but I love my dog. It's he's the one thing I miss most when I'm out on the road. Is him, and we were just home a couple days ago in Florida, so I got to see him, which was which was nice. But my vet recommended me to get my dog, um, get him fixed because um, it's, it's it's healthier for him. Um, it it, uh, it decreases the chance of him getting prostate cancer. I think animals are, are amazing. They're great. They don't, you know. I think they're especially you know dogs, the most honest creatures they put on earth. They, they don't lie. They're, you know, they're, they're great. They're very just loving, and um, and it's, it's just so sad to you know that there's so many you know potential good pets out there that are you know just ignored because they were found on the street or something. Um, I would I would really like to see a reversal. If you're thinking about it, definitely, definitely, you know, go do the research. And, and, and if you have a pet, maybe look at your pet and think about, you know, what it would be if, if that was him that you were eating, you know.